you were probably gonna hear a lot of sniffs today, so ignore it. Okay. Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be giving you three organizing mistakes that you may not know you're doing. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Oh, before we continue, make sure you like this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below. <laughs> so the first organizing mistake that you don't know you're doing is you overthink way too much. You're overthinking about what to do how to organize it, what to declutter, what not to declutter, what to keep, what to sell. And because of this overthink or this continuous questioning of everything around you, you never get the space organized. For example, let's say you wanna organize your coffee station and you've been wanting to create a coffee station that is just fully functioning. You wanna create this beautiful space that just gives you the entire vibe of a coffee shop. <laughs> so you walk over to your coffee station and you open up the cabinets and all you see are mugs everywhere. You probably own about 30 mugs and even though you know you only love five, you still are so attached to those 30 mugs. You're now going down this rabbit hole of questions to why you should keep all of these mugs. And because of the multiple questions, the overthinking of why you should get rid of these mugs, you then can't get rid of any mug. You close the cabinet and you walk away and your coffee station never gets organized. Here's a solution. I would suggest that you start small. Only start with five mugs. You don't have to get rid of 30 mugs at one time. Please understand that. When it comes to organizing, it's not about finishing first. It's about creating a space that works for you. So if you finish last, you're still a winner. So focus on five mugs. Look at those five mugs and ask yourself a few questions. Ask yourself, when's the last time I used it? Do I really like this mug? Is it too large for my coffee machine? Do I ever need this amount of coffee in a mug? Ask yourself just these very simple questions. And as you keep asking yourself, guys, you're gonna realize that, you know what? I really don't like this mug, which a lot of times is gonna make it a lot easier for you to get rid of it. Again, when it comes to organizing, it's not a race. It's a marathon. It takes time. And if you're only able to get rid of five mugs and that's all you can do, it's okay. If you notice that all of your now 25 mugs don't fit in your cabinet, you can give yourself a week and go back to it and try to get rid of five more mugs. If you absolutely cannot, then you can figure out a way how to fit all the mugs. You know, there's so many ways that you can fit a lot of mugs in your cabinet. You can stack them on each other. You can hang them from the shelves. These are just suggestions to make the process easy because I understand that it's not always easy to get rid of stuff. So give yourself some time and be gentle on yourself. You don't have to finish first. You don't have to finish today. You can finish tomorrow. You can finish in a month. You can finish in a year but give yourself some time. And by the time you know it, you're gonna organize that coffee station or you're gonna organize that space and you're not even gonna think about how long it took you to get there. So the second organizing mistake is comparing your space to others. Let's talk about it. I've been there, so I get it. It's so easy to compare your space to others, especially with all the platforms, all the photos that we see of organized spaces. Trust me, I'm someone who posts organized spaces all the time. <laughs> So look, our spaces are all different. They're all different. There really hardly isn't a space that's the same, unless of course you have like a similar floor plan. Even if you have the same floor plan as someone else, you still do things differently in your space. So please understand that. Don't compare your space to other people's spaces because it will never be the same. And I'm gonna even go deeper. Not every organizing process is going to fit you or your space. Like for me, you know, having an organizing business, it does require that you have a system that you use when it comes to different people's homes. But a lot of times that process has to be tweaked according to the space I'm organizing. So one size doesn't always fit all. So I do think it's good to use photos as a foundation, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you should create the same organized space in your space because it doesn't always work. And remember guys, remember this one. An after photo sometimes isn't real. I said it. All right, all right, so the third organizing mistake that you don't know you're doing is 
which is probably, <laughs> this is probably my favorite one <laughs> and y'all probably don't want to hear it, but you're overbuying organizing products. I said it, I've said it before. Y'all have heard me say it, but you gotta stop overbuying products. Before you buy products, and I've said this before, before you even buy that bin that you are obsessed with, cause trust me, I am always obsessed with bins. You know what, recently I wanted to buy four bins to go in here and I was like, why? Where, where's it going and why am I buying it? And I didn't buy it. Thankfully, the strength of God stopped me from buying these bins. And I'm not saying I'm never going to buy it. I'm just saying I wasn't ready for those bins. So I didn't buy it. So that was just, you know, to show you guys, I also go through that. But what I'm saying is before you buy organizing products, because we're not trying to waste money in 2021, no more, no more. Before you buy organizing products, the first thing you should do is, can we all say it together? Declutter. You got to get rid of some stuff because organizing products can be clutter. And that's not what we're trying to create. So you got to get rid of the clutter so you can bring in these organizing products because organizing products take up space as well. So once you declutter, then make sure you measure. Measure wherever those organizing products will be sitting in, on, or above. Measure it because that's going to allow you to know how many organizing products you can bring in that space. And once you measure it, plan it out. How many organizing products do you need? Where are they going to sit? What's going to go in said organizing products? These are a few questions you can ask yourself before you go out and press buy. And trust me, if you follow these three steps, you will no longer overbuy organizing products. You won't. All right, guys. So these are just three organizing mistakes that you may not know you're doing. And because I let you know about them, you're not going to be doing them anymore. So you're welcome. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below if you've ever made any of these organizing mistakes. I understand how hard it is to avoid them, but if you can become aware of them, you can avoid them. So let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> All right, you already know what time it is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. <laughs> and as always, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. She's a loud one, aren't you? Loud one. <laughs> Thank you.